Hi everybody, Redneck Reloader here. Um, the video that's following this intro is the second in my bullet review video series I'm doing. Um, these are Cimarron bullets. They're out of Texas. Um, I shot the video initially and uh, this first part of the video was too damaged to save. So I'm just shooting another little intro here. And now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, video review. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, real quick, uh, 30 seconds or less, hopefully, run over the rules of what I'm doing with these reviews. Um, I'm taking, uh, the, trying to take the same bullet from different manufacturers. So I've uh, standardized on a 124 grain 9 millimeter bullet or 125 grain. Uh, some companies offer one or the other. And I'm going to take those and test them against each other. Um, I'm looking only at companies right now that I can get 100 pieces, uh, 100 uh, piece order. Uh, some companies have got to where they're only taking 500 or 1,000 piece orders right now, which is fine if you know what you want. But I, I don't want to order uh, 500 or 1,000 pieces of a bullet I've never shot before and then find out they my gun doesn't like them. So um, I like, um, for new reloaders, the way I was when I first started, uh, everything I got, I tried to order smaller uh, quantities, 100 pieces, and that way I could try them out because I, I have had some bad luck with bullets in the past. So that's what I'm doing now, and that's where Cimarron comes in. So this is a 100 pieces. Um, I'm going to have to open it. Look, I don't remember if these are 125s or 124s. I think they're 125s, but we'll get in here and find out. Uh, but first look at the packaging. Uh, they come in a small flat rate box. Uh, very well sealed up, completely taped over. Um, and, um, you know, nothing coming out or loose or anything on the outside of the box. These came from Texas. Um, I ordered them over the weekend, and I got them the following Monday. So just a little over a week uh, delivery. And this is March of 2021, so that's really impressive. Um, as far as the criteria that I was going to look at for bullets for these tests, I was not going to take shipping in because there's so many companies that are out like three months on their shipping, which is not their normal. I didn't feel that was fair. But... If somebody's standing out like this, then I am going to make uh, uh, an exception. So now they say on their website to give them six to eight weeks, which even at that, they're still better than most of the big companies. Most of the big companies are, uh, if they are doing back orders, they're out 10 to 12 weeks. So um, even at six to eight weeks would be great. But I happen to get these in a week. Uh, maybe they just happen to have them in stock. I can't guarantee you'll get them that quick. But um, I did get these real quick. So let's open the box. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> Okay, so here's our bullets. Now, um, actually, the bullets that I got from them, um, instead of the 124 grain round nose, which uh, I've been trying to standardize it, these are 125 grain, um, like a tapered cone, like a conical nose bullet, which is fine. Uh, I'm still going to load them the same way. I'm going to still use the same powder charge, and I'm going to shoot them against each other. Um, but uh, they aren't exactly the same as the uh, the baseline I was trying to do. But they're pretty good. Um, you'll actually notice two bags of bullets here. Full disclosure, I did buy another set of bullets. But these are for 38 Special. This is for another project that I've got coming up. But since I was ordering from them, um, I was going to try to just do 100-piece orders so I could really you know, confirm the price, the shipping, and everything. But in their case... Their prices and shipping are so good, uh, it didn't make a difference. I um, I placed the order for the 100 pieces of the 9mm, and then I went and checked, you know, the checkout and what the shipping cost was, and then I went back and ordered the 38, and it was still the same price for shipping. So, um, I went ahead and ordered them. So, um, I just showed these because I'm going to show you the coloring on them. But here's the invoice, and so... I got the 9mm and the 38, 100 pieces of each, and they were both $7. Shipping was $8.50. So if you just looked at the 9mm by itself, $7, $8.50, it's $15.50 shipping. Uh, both of these were $22.50 shipped to my door. So um, very impressive. That's actually the best, for, that's the best pricing I have seen for a hundred piece order. Now the uh, T and B bullets were reviewed. Um, they were sixteen dollars, so these are actually fifty cents cheaper. Uh, so um, 
for uh, as far as price goes right now Cimarron is the champ uh, these are packed inside the box uh, they were well packed with paper these are very heavy plastic bags and the uh, Ziploc portion is taped shut as well so they're not going to with very heavy tape so um, these are not going to come open in the bag or anything very well packed so let's open these see what they look like okay for the uh, the nine millimeter bullets I think if I remember right they call this color red copper and uh, very nice looking bullets I like the color the coating looks fantastic on them I don't see any bare spots or anything they're certainly dry I'm not getting any on my fingers which I know is silly but that's part of my test I do because I have heard people complain about uh, some bullets um, you know, about them getting some on their fingers and stuff so um, that is something that I check. Sorry, my hands are cold. So I can't hang on to anything. Uh, very good looking bullets. Uh, really do like the looks of these. I like this color. Now, I didn't see... I may have been mistaken, but if I remember right on their site, I did not see any offers of any other colors. Um, they do have other colors. These are the uh, 38s. I got those out just to show you that. Um, this is also a very good looking bullet. Uh, this is a different color, uh, gunmetal gray, I believe they called this one. And from what I could tell on their site, the way they do their bullets are um, each caliber is a different color. Uh, so I may be wrong about that. Maybe if you request a different color, you can get them. But uh, from what I saw, uh, what they had uh, offered on there when I just went and ordered is just uh, all the 9 millimeters with this uh, red copper. And, you know, all the 38s were the gun middle gray, and I didn't get into all the other calibers because there's only two I was looking at on the site. But uh, very good-looking bullets. So um, let's go through with our tests. Uh, you know, the first thing I do is just smash one on my anvil with a hammer just to kind of see how that, uh, how that coating adheres. So, okay. Uh, I gave it a whack. I don't try to beat them to death. I just give it a good whack with my hand sledge. The uh, purpose of this, I don't really know. <laughs> I know that uh, a lot of the powder coat guys will do this just to test to see how well the coating adheres. Make sure it's not flaking off or anything. So that's why I'm doing this. But as you can see, even flattening that point, which um, you know I flattened it down quite a bit. And that coating is still very, very well adhered. Now, fooling around, let's load some of these things. Uh, for my test today, I'm going to load 10. And uh, I'll do a little reel here in a little bit and explain our shooting test, what we're going to do to compare them. But I'm going to load 10. I'm going to shoot 5 out of my pistol, 5 out of my carbine. We're going to use uh, my RCBS tapered crimp die set and Hodgson tight group powder. And I'm going to be loading 3.9 grains. And for these, the uh, conical nose bullets, I'm going to be loading these to 1.125 inches in length at 3.9 grains of tight group. And um, I'm going to be using uh, Remington one and a half small pistol primers. So let's get started. Okay, so these videos are more about product review than they are reloading but I just want to show you a little bit of what I'm doing here um, as far as belling the case mouth I have never loaded these particular bullets before these not just this brand but this style these 125 grain conical noses are new to me and you see they do not have a lube groove they've got a longer driving band um, this is a unbelled ca uh, case so you can see that little these bullets have a little bevel to keep them Kind of make them go in smoother. I can pretty much stick that bevel in the case, and that's about it. Um, you know, with the unsized case. So I'm kind of playing around as like how much I need to build the case mouth to not shave the bullet. So here's what I've decided on. So um, I'm belling it enough that I can push that bullet in there quite a bit. Stick one side by side, and you can kind of if I can get them to about the same length. 
kind of give you an idea of how much of that bullet is actually sitting in there. Um, it's about how deep it is in there. So uh, I'm, I'm setting it in there pretty good to try to keep from shaving these. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. But i uh, got a few more to do here. And then um, I'll powder charge them and load them. And we'll come back and take a look at them. Okay, so I just wanted to give you some of my thoughts while I'm loading these up. Um, some of the little things I've noticed on them. First off, I, um, I don't like them as well as the 125, 124 grain round nose. I prefer those. But um, that's nothing against... Cimarron or their quality or anything. It's just uh, I seem to prefer those I have noticed as I pulled these out of the bag um, quality wise uh, Their uh, their coverage is a little spotty. It's not horrible But it's not as good as what I've seen with some of the other high-tech coated bullets um, Just to give you just a few examples um, You can see that little bare spot there bare lid and uh, it's just, you know, a tiny little spot, but it's on a few of them I pulled out of there, have that. And then this is when I loaded, and if you notice, it's got a little streak there. And that was in there before I put it in. That wasn't something that was pushed on it from the die or something. So um, coverage is a little spotty it's not horrible it's nothing that would keep me from buying them or loading them but um it, it's not great just to give you an example this is a big old bucket of uh, 40 caliber bullets that i've got from various manufacturers in there and i could look through these and i don't see any bare spots whatsoever you know the coating is good uniform um, it's pretty rare to see maybe that's a bare spot I can't yeah little 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 tiny one right there um, so it's something you do see every once in a while it's not enough to like you know be a problem or let up your gun or anything but it's not something you see very often but that's more what i'm used to seeing and like i said i'm only loading 10 of these and i've already seen uh, a number of them that that have that on them so um you know since i'm doing a review i'm just being honest with you and telling you that's uh the coating looks pretty good but uh it's not the best i've seen but it's it's okay it's sufficient so um let's see how these are are going in uh, like i said i'm seeding these to a 1.125 and uh they seem to be going in pretty good i'm not noticing any shaving of the coating or anything going in uh, they seem to be going in smooth um they don't have a loop groove so they have that long driving band and i don't know if that makes any kind of difference or not but um they are loading smoothly i've not had any problems with them going in uh, they're looking pretty good and almost done here a couple more but uh i'll swing you around and show you a little close up Okay, I've got the bullet seated in all 10, and um, I'm not seeing any signs of the coating being shaved off or anything. Um, they all look pretty good in that department, and they all went in pretty good. Didn't have any problems with the cases swelling or anything. Um, they seem to load real good. I haven't crimped them yet, but... Even without crimping them, they still just about go all the way in the case gauge. So I'm just going to put a little light crimp and take the bell back out of them. And uh, we'll be ready to go shoot these. So 
Um, like I said, other than just some few minor little defects in the coating, looks like uh, maybe they could have put it on a little bit thicker maybe. I, I don't know what their process is and wouldn't tell them how to do it, but uh, it does seem to be maybe a little thinner or a little spottier than some of the other manufacturers I've seen, but not enough that would uh, deter me from purchasing them again. So uh, let me get these uh, crimped, and then we'll go up and shoot them and see how they stack. Uh, right about now, I'm going to insert a little uh, short uh, pre-shot video I made uh, just describing what I'm doing as far as uh, testing goes and what we're looking at, and then uh, we'll be up in the woods and do some shooting. Thanks. Okay, so as a part of these bullet reviews, I'm going to take the bullets that I just loaded and just reviewed and take them out and shoot them just to kind of see how they compare to um, factory bullets. So um, what I've got here is a federal aluminum cased. I'm pretty sure these are 115 grains. I... What I did was I took five headshots at seven yards with my pistol. And that's the group I came up with. Four and then a flyer up there. Um, I'm not a great pistol shot. Um, so what I did, not a great shot period, but what I did was braced my pistol on a backpack that I keep in my truck, uh, get home bag. Um, I set it up on the hood of my truck and I braced my hand on that to try to take as much of me out of the equation as possible. So I shot the torso at 15 yards. I'm sorry, 25 yards with my carbine. And I did the same thing with it. I braced it, uh, up on my backpack and this targets Got a little wear on it there. That's a little better. So I've got, once again, it's almost the same as a pistol. I've got four close, and I've got one flyer up there. Okay, so we're going to do our accuracy test now. I'm going to take five shots, uh, headshots, at seven yards with my pistol, and then I'll take five torso shots at 25 yards with my carbine. Okay, so my final thoughts on Cimarron bullets out of Texas. Um, price, they can't be beat. Uh, very, very, very good pricing. Uh, shipping was fast, even though I'm not really um, looking at that nowadays. Uh, I do have to say their shipping was fantastic. It was here in a uh, week or so. Um, the bullets, they look good. The coating looks good. Um, didn't get any on my fingers as far as accuracy goes uh pretty good um not as good with my carbine I had a couple of flyers there but a lot of that was me it's very bright out today and this just all blended together i really didn't put anything to aim at if i had put uh something a little different color there where i had something to aim at better i would have tightened that group up i was just really generally just aiming at the middle of the torso but even with that I can cover up the whole group with my palm still. So, uh, pretty good accuracy. Um, quality, not the best. Uh, it seems like the coating stayed on good. The bullets were all sized nicely. They loaded nicely. I didn't have any shaving or anything, but I did have those few little spots that didn't have coverage. And I feel like I'm nitpicking pointing those out, but I am doing a product review and it wasn't quite as good as what other companies are. So um, I can't say a uh, quality is excellent, but I'll say it's very good. It certainly is good enough. I'll buy from them again. That didn't bother me, but I just pointed it out for you. So uh, overall, Simron, 
I'll give you a thumbs up and uh, definitely we'll bite from them again. So thanks for watching and God bless.